Hello everybody, you are very welcome to one of our courses. This is Professor Danilo from Unife and let's take a look at the content today. In this course we are going to discuss fundamentals of digital marketing. Everything related to this topic we are going to discuss today, right? So if you are ready, Let's do it! This is going to be our agenda for today. So, first of all, we need to take a look at the introduction of this. After, I'm going to explain for you uh, the reasons why it is so important in our, uh, in our days today. And after, we are going to have uh, all the most important strategies of digital marketing that we can apply. The pay-per-click advertising, paid search advertising, SEO, paid social media advertising, social media marketing, CRO, content marketing, native advertising, email marketing and affiliate marketing. Right, so let's take a look. First of all, we need to discuss the introduction of digital marketing. Actually, many people don't realize all the tools we have uh, of digital marketing available for us today. And here, I put for you just a few examples of it, such as websites, uh, logos or icons that you can find on the internet, videos, on YouTube mainly, images, infographics, uh, ebooks, a lot of free ebooks nowadays, blogspots, online products or tools such as SWAS, um, for example, iCloud, or reviews, social media pages, and many others. Here I have put for you only the main examples. Good. Okay, right now I'm going to discuss with you the definition of digital marketing, but not only just this, in, uh, in an informal way, right? So, uh, you can see in the slide, mar uh, digital marketing refers to any online marketing efforts or assets. So, everything that you can find online can be considered uh, as a digital marketing, mainly when the purpose of it is to communicate or to sell something to the audience, right? So if you intend to convince the audience, the, the, your public, to buy something, then you are using a digital marketing uh, tool, such as email marketing, pay-per-click, uh, and many other social media marketing, and then we go. Okay? Pretty good. Let's move on now. All these words are related to digital marketing and all of them are really important if you want to understand well digital marketing itself, right? So advertising, email lists, signs up, revenue, uh, SEO, search engine, optimization, social media, uh, clicks, conversion rate and leads, traffic, analytics, mainly Google Analytics or YouTube Analytics, okay? Landing page, all these words uh, are the words that you have to understand the meaning. I will emphasize it once again. All these words you have to understand their meanings if you want to understand what digital marketing is, right? So let's continue. Here we have all the digital marketing strategies that we are going to discuss today. So the pay-per-click advertising, paid search advertising, SEO, paid social media advertising, social media marketing, CRO, content marketing, native advertising, email and affiliate marketing. Right? 
So these are all the strategies that we are going to move deeper right now. Before we move to all the strategies, I would like you to understand the importance of digital marketing. There are 10 main reasons why digital marketing is really important nowadays. The first one is that it reaches uh, people where they spend their money and time. So if you spend your money in social media, for example, you will see, you will notice that you can find or you can identify a lot of advertising uh, brands over the, the internet, right? The second reason is related to the levels, the playing field for a small business, which, mean, uh, which means that uh, you can improve the sales of your business using digital marketing, mainly if you are a small business, because uh, ma uh, many of the, the, the tools of digital marketing are free. So small business in general, they don't have a lot of money to spend with it. So they can use a lot of different tools for free. The number three, the third reason, is that it is more targeted, which means you can identify better your target market, the one that you really want to achieve. Good. The fourth one is that it can be hyper-personalized, which means that all the content you can develop by yourself, even though you are a small business company. Number five, more advanced analytics. A lot of data and information that you can get using this type of tools, such as Google Analytics, YouTube Analytics, and many others. So you can have a lot of information in order to identify strategic trends, for example. Number six is related to easy to scale and adapt, which means that if you have one well-developed digital product in the market, you can escalate it to the others easily. It, it, uh, and this thing doesn't happen a lot when you are in the real world. Right? It is uh, more complex, for example, to export products to China. But digital products are not like this. They are much easier to escalate. Number seven is the best ROI or best ROI or ROI in Portuguese. Things like that, okay? ROI or ROI means return on investments, which means you can measure well how much you have paid for one tool and how much this tool gave to you uh, back as an income, right? So you invest on something and you expect to gain something, to, to earn uh, some money with this investment. And ROI is the ratio that will give you this answer. Number H. It aligns with how people today shop, mainly in this quarantine. Most people nowadays are increasing their usability of social media tools to sell things or to buy things. We have so many different websites such as eBay.com, MercadoLivre.com.br, and many other types, many other examples of uh, websites that sell. Uh, things to the public. Number nine is how people prefer that businesses reach them, which means if you don't like something, you don't search for it. Right? So the, the social media advertising uh, just give, uh, gives you options to buy something. If you don't like it, you can cancel, you can just ignore it, and you can move on to the things that you like or that you intend to buy. Good. And the last reason why you should learn about digital marketing is that it integrates marketing with mobile technology. I mean, you can go deeply inside the life of people.
people we uh, through the Yermo BIOS. So you can have so many different types of information getting it from the trends or information uh, from analytics, for example, when they are using the Yermo BIOS. You can uh, identify a lot of behaviors and then with this information you can offer the correct product or service to your public. Good? Okay, guys, these are the, uh, the reasons why digital marketing is so important in our reality nowadays. Let's move on to the strategies right now. Let's do it. The PPC or pay-per-click advertising. This is the first concept that we are going to analyze right now. Let's go. Actually, the pay-per-click or PPC advertising is related to any type of uh, digital marketing that the, you need to pay or the company needs to pay for each and every user who clicks on an ad, right? So if you need to pay for a uh, pay per click from the users, then we are talking about PPC, okay? I can give you some examples, such as Google AdWords. They uh, they have this type of um, of uh, strategy, digital marketing strategy, or also Facebook ads, where when people click in your uh, link, they are going to uh, to to you will need to pay for each of these clicks. Good? I have here for you one example. So here, in the right of the screen, you will see a couple of pay-per-click advertisements. Right? I'm totally sure that all of you have had uh, have uh, seen this uh, this image before this idea this layout here and then obviously you have found a couple of advertisements like this in your life right now the second concept that we are going to study today is the pay search advertising the pay search advertising is one of the PPC advertisements possibilities. So companies or websites such as Google, uh, Bing, Yahoo, all of them they uh, allow you uh, to run test ads on your uh, SERPs search engine results pages so when you go to one page and you can identify one ad over there that is paid this is something that probably it is a paid search advertising okay so i will give you now one example in the screen Okay, guys, these are the examples of paid search advertising. So when you go and Google something, you will identify, probably identify, a couple of advertising uh, advertisements uh, in the screen. These, uh, uh, these are the first uh, um, websites that will appear in your search, right? So here are a couple of examples if you search for hotels, the word hotels. Okay, dear students, this is another really important concept that I guarantee that you will use or that you will hear in your life. The search engine optimization, SEO, SEO. Okay, SEO is a strategy not paid in general, 
by the public that will uh, organically brings you uh, new customers through words or expressions so uh, you actually you don't have to pay directly for every click but in general we will pay for companies uh, you are going to outsource this type of service uh, to do this for you okay I will show you right now what the picture and you will understand better what is the, the action that uh, an SEO company takes so this is the example when you Google some expression uh, Google automatically will uh, rank for you the main websites and what is the criteria that Google uses to make it it is if you are paying for it so <laughs> if you pay your website is going to appear uh, in the first positions of the rank okay so let's continue now you are gonna learn about paid social media advertising uh, this is used a lot by uh, by the companies across um, the world and I guarantee you that you have seen this before in your life so let's take a look so most platforms such as Google Instagram and many others they allow you to run ads uh, inside their platform and uh, the, the way you can do it is you pay an amount of money for them and then they are going to uh, allow you uh, to post your ad on it. This is a, a Facebook uh, screen where you can see a couple of advertisings here, a couple of ads. So free unlimited access to my classes and blah blah blah. Uh, the other one is Uncraft. So you can see here a couple of examples of ads inside a social media, in this case Facebook. In the other hand, we have social media marketing there is a, an important difference between uh, social media marketing and paid social media marketing as we will see right now so social media marketing just like SEO uh, they are free uh, and also they can achieve the same organic result uh, from the others of course it's going to take much more longer but you can achieve the same results and it is for free as I have said before so uh, everybody can use this type of tool and everybody can achieve uh, growth in their business here you can see a couple of, uh, of examples uh, of different social medias where you can use uh, ads to improve your results and to increase your sales Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, LinkedIn all of them uh, are important tools free tools that you can use to improve your results or the results of your company the next one is CRO or conversion rate optimization let's take a look at it so the CRO is a tool that we use to improve uh, the experience of the user so uh, we can use much more uh, to get um, more leads more calls more sales out of the existing website traffic so this is an example of conversion rate optimization uh, you can see that there is a few new in the middle of the picture so you can try to convert 
people that uh, are going to visit your, your website or your social media into uh, customers or clients. Okay, so the main target of the CRO is to convert, to help you to convert people in general into customers. Now we will move to the content marketing. It is really used nowadays and uh, it is a really important concept that you have to keep in your vocabulary and in your mind. So content is when you uh, offer for free in general for your audience an ebook or infographics or videos, everything for free in order to drive clicks, leads or sales. So you are going to offer a free product or service in order to get more clicks, sales or leads, right? So first of all, you need to create your content after you are going to research or people are going to research for something that you can offer to them. After you will measure it, measure the result of it, you are going to promote it to your audience. Uh, after you promote it, you publish it and everything. everybody can download your content and they will use it. And in the end, you can optimize your results. This is how the content strategy works. We are moving to the end of the presentation. Now we are going to discuss a little bit about native advertising. Uh, have you ever uh, have you ever found uh, a couple of suggestions of different products or articles that are similar to the ones you are searching for. So this is native advertising. Uh, when you uh, show different things, different products to your audience or to your prospectors, uh, that are linked or are similar to the ones that they are buying or they are interested in, right? So often or often native ads can be a bit hard to spot since it is usually mixed with, with non-paid content recommendations. So it's kind of a, a, a challenging to use this type of tool, but if you use it correctly, you can uh, improve your sales a lot. I don't know if someone is going to buy a Harry Potter book, the first edition, and you uh, show to this person uh, Harry Potter's two, three, or all the books together, and this person looks at it, probably this person is going to be more interested in buying other types of products. Here you have one example where you have a, a, a blog, uh, blog paper, how Mark Zuckerberg and Tim Cook and more are re reacting to separation of children and parents at US border. So this was the, uh, the main search. But as a possible article that this, the website is suggesting for you, you have attract more customers, you have 10 tips for writing emails that will get you tangible results and another one. So these are the recommendations, uh, the, the automatic recommendations that the website will give you because of your search. Yes, people are still using emails nowadays. <laughs> Uh, there is one of the tools that we are going to study right now, which is email marketing. And this is really useful if we consider that people uh, who work uh, use emails a lot. 
So this is mainly to create a list of professional emails, right? Let's take a look. Is the oldest form, this is the oldest form of online marketing. And uh, as I have said before, it is still really strong nowadays, mainly because of professional emails addresses. So uh, most professionals use email every day, all day long. So if you can go, uh, if you can achieve these people through an email, this is going to be a real possibility to convert uh, prospects into uh, uh, buyers or customers uh, of your company, right? So probably, as I have said, you have to create a list of emails that people that are interested in your content. And finally, the, the last one is affiliate marketing. Affiliate marketing is a type of partnership between you and a person who is trying to sell your products or services. So, essentially, you are going to pay someone else to promote your products or services on their websites. It can be uh, their YouTube channels, their blogs, their Facebook or Instagram, and tools like this. This is how the affiliate marketing works. So, first of all, the affiliate puts your ad on their website, as I have said, can be YouTube channels, Facebook, and others. After the customer clicks and converts it into a sale, after the conversions are tracked, you have to track the conversions in order to really know where this sale came from. And finally, the affiliate gets a commission and also you got a sale. Okay, and then the process starts over again. That's the affiliate marketing process. Okay, dear students, so this is the end of our presentation for today. Uh, my purpose here was to show you a little bit uh, deeper about uh, all the mar digital marketing strategies that you can find in the market. And also the reasons why you should learn it, you should study it a little bit more. Uh, so the pay-per-click advertising, the pay search advertising, the SEO, paid social media advertising, and also the free one, the CRO, the content marketing, native advertising, email marketing, and affiliate marketing. All of them are digital marketing strategies that you are gonna find in the market, right? And more than this, these are important vocabularies that you need to know, that you need to uh, include in your personal vocabulary, English vocabulary, right? And uh, this is all I have for you regarding uh, digital marketing, which, by the way, was the theme that we have worked during this first part of the discipline. Uh, for the next part, uh, we are going to make a it a little bit different. So I will post today for you uh, one cue where you have to tell me how you prefer to conduct the discipline right now. If you prefer to record more videos or if you prefer to make presentations, online presentations. Okay? Just participate on it uh, in it and uh, the deadline is going to be from now to three or four days uh, until Monday, I think. I don't remember right now, but probably it's going to be until Monday. So participate if you want to make a presentation, uh, this presentation in an online way or uh, through videos, recording new videos. Got it? Okay, guys, uh, as I am talking about videos, First of all, guys, I have to tell you, I am really proud of you all because all of your hard work, 
your effort, your time, your, I don't know, but uh, probably you hate me <laughs> because of this activity, but I loved the results. You did a really good job. Of course, we have opportunities uh, of improvement, such as the sound of some videos that were too, too low. I even couldn't listen, I couldn't hear to the, the person or lighting things, but it's not that, uh, that important for this period now. The most important thing is that you did it. You um, just uh, were uh, able to win yourselves. I don't know how to, to express this in other words, but you, 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 you just improve the way you solve problems. This is going to be unforgettable for you in the future. Uh, you will learn, uh, you learned this right now, and you will perceive in the future that this type of skill for their market is much more important than the technical skill sometimes. Okay, so uh, the behavior, the courage that you had, this is the, the really important thing for you. So English you can study. English we are studying together. You will develop it. But uh, behavior, this is really hard to win. So probably if you didn't do this right now, you would never make it again in your life. Okay, so this was one of the purpose of this part of the discipline. And that's it, guys. I will watch all your videos and I will post my comments very soon. For now, that's all I have for you. Thanks a lot for watching this video and I see you in the next one. See you guys. Bye.